Hi guys, welcome back to TOEFL with Yuva. In this lesson, I will show you how to write a TOEFL independent writing essay for a preference question. And I will give you tips that help you boost your score. The question is about shower habits. Let's get started. By the way, if you want to get your dream TOEFL score, join my course. Here you can find templates, practice tests, sample answers and much more to really boost your score. To access the course, click on the link in the description. Also, hit the like button and subscribe to this channel so that you don't miss the next video. First, let's start with the question. Some people prefer to take a shower or bath in the morning. Other people prefer to do so in the evening. Which do you prefer? Use specific reasons and examples to support your answer. This kind of question is common in TOEFL independent writing. It gives two different opinions about something then asks which one you prefer. There is no correct answer for a question like this. Instead, the TOEFL examiner wants to see how well you support an opinion. I pick bathing in the evening because it's easy for me to explain two separate reasons. One is emotional and one is physical. Those are great topics to show off a range of vocabulary. I'm starting with the sentences from my template. I think templates are great because they give you great sentence starters. You can structure your essay well with a template and save time to think about your reasons. Here's the introduction. I start with a hook which sets up the question. I know that some people like to wake up in the morning and start their day with an invigorating shower. Here I use I know to show that I recognize that there is a viewpoint other than mine. I didn't want to use the same words from the question, so I paraphrased prefer to take a shower or bath in the morning. In my introduction, that is, like to wake up in the morning and start their day with an invigorating shower. Next, I make it clear what my opinion is. Personally, I prefer to take a bath in the evening. That sentence is short and to the point. I will follow it with another sentence from my template. I feel this way for two reasons that I will examine in this essay. Now it's time to write the body paragraphs. Make both reasons separate paragraphs and indent the first line. First, I like an evening bath because it is extremely relaxing. First is a linking word that shows the reader you will give your first reason. I then say my preference. I like an evening bath. That's slightly different than a bath in the evening so that there is more variety to my words. Because is a linking word that shows that the reason comes next. The reason I like an evening bath is the extremely relaxing nature of the bath. After that general statement, I want to give specific reasons. During the day, I go to school and after that, I play tennis. This is another short sentence because I don't need to describe the things that I do during the day much. I just want to show that I'm busy. I emphasize that I'm busy by giving more detail about one of the topics. I'm on the school tennis team, so often we compete in tournaments on the weekends too. So combines two ideas really well by showing that the first idea 
being on the tennis team is the reason for the second competing on weekends. But I'm not sure if the reader knows what point I am trying to stress with the two. I add the next short sentence to highlight the main idea. As a result, I feel like I'm always busy. As a result is another great linking phrase because it shows how the ideas relate. The previous sentence caused the action in this one. Now that I have shown that I'm busy, it's time to get back to the idea of the evening bath. If I take time to soak in the tub in the evening after I get home, I think about what happened during the day and wash away any emotional concerns with the warm bath water. Okay, this is a really long sentence. It also uses an if clause. If clauses are great because they are complex structures that really show off your grammatical skills and can boost your TOEFL writing score. Notice that taking a bath is something that happens often for me. It's not a possibility that will never come true. Therefore, I use the present tense in both parts of the sentence. I take time and I think about. The second half actually has two verbs that show actions I do if I take time to soak in the tub. Soak in the tub, by the way, paraphrases evening bath. Do you see that the second action is joined by and? I also wash away. This verb is also in the present tense, so it is parallel. I didn't put a comma in front of and because there is no subject after it. The subject is at the start of the clause, I. On to the next sentence. I can take as much time as I like because the day is over and all obligations are done. This one is the result of the big if sentence. I use can because this may or may not happen every time that I take a bath. Can shows that the action is possible but doesn't have to occur every time. When I first wrote this, I said all tasks are done. However, I always like to proofread my essays. The second time I read it, I remembered the word obligations and put it here. That's a high-level vocabulary word, which can boost your score. Guys, it's very important to proofread and see if there are places you can improve your writing. By the way, if you want to get your dream TOEFL score, join my course. Here you can find templates, practice tests, sample answers and much more to really boost your score. To access the course, click on the link in the description. Also, hit the like button and subscribe to this channel so that you don't miss the next video. I have talked about why I like evening baths, so now I will comment on why I don't like morning baths. By contrast, I am not comfortable taking a long bath in the morning because I feel rushed thinking about the many things I have to do and worry whether I will get everything accomplished. I don't want to spend too much time on the opposing view, so I put the whole idea into one sentence. By contrast, clearly shows that I'm talking about the opposite view. I'm explaining the problems that happen, so the reader does not think I'm discussing something positive about morning bars. I use because again, because it's great for adding a reason. In this case, I give two reasons joined by AND. When proofreading, I noticed I didn't have the verbs in the same tense, so I fixed them. Now they are parallel in the present tense. 
I feel rushed and I worry. Whether has the same meaning as if. However, I've used if a couple of times, so I'm using whether to add more vocabulary. That's the end of my argument about emotional benefits of bathing. I actually thought about using emotional here, but decided to save that vocabulary for the conclusion. Here's the final sentence in this paragraph. In other words, I like bathing in the evening to reduce my stress. In other words is used to show that the following sentence sums up the main idea of the entire paragraph. All those ideas really just mean I like bathing in the evening to reduce my stress. Now it's time to start the second reason. I use a new paragraph and indent. Secondly, I feel cleaner if I wash myself in the evening because I can get rid of the dust and grime from the day. I was going to stop at evening, but decided to add dust and grime. I didn't have to, but it's an idiom that stresses the dirt that builds up over time. I used an idiom I'm comfortable with to make my writing sound more native and boost my score. Idioms are awesome, but be careful. If you use an idiom wrong, it can really confuse the reader. Make sure you know the correct situation if you want to use one in your essay. I explain what I mean about dust and grime in the next sentence. I get a very good workout playing tennis. Originally, this sentence was a lot longer, but I realized when I was proofreading that the essay flowed better if this sentence were short and to the point. It explains what is needed and no more. The following sentence clarifies how the workout relates to the dirt. I become sweaty on hot days in the summer and muddy on rainy days in the winter. I like this sentence because it has a parallel comparison. Sweaty on hot days in the summer has the exact same structure as muddy on rainy days in the winter. In a way, it sounds a bit like poetry. But then I realized that someone might point out that I don't have to wait until evening to get clean. So I addressed that argument directly in the next sentence. Granted, my school has a shower in the locker room and I sometimes use that, but I do not really like taking showers with lots of other people. Granted is an awesome word. It shows that you accept that there is another opinion than yours, but that you still hold your own opinion. In this case, grounded shows that I realize that I could get clean before my evening bath, but that I don't want to. But introduces the reason I don't want to take a shower in the locker room. But is a fantastic linking word that shows that the first half of the sentence has a different idea than the second half. Here, but indicates that there is a shower and even so, I don't want to use it. After addressing that possible complaint about my argument, I go back to my own argument. Therefore, when possible, I like to come home and bathe in private. Therefore, shows the result of a discussion. Here it shows that the result of not wanting to use the locker room shower is that I bathe at home. I used when possible to show that I sometimes do take a shower at school, but that it's by far my preference to do so at home. And do you see, bath in the evening has become bathe. I am still paraphrasing when I can in order to highlight my vocabulary.
I wanted another sentence because that one sounded a bit abrupt or harsh as an ending. I can then change into comfortable clean clothes to spend the rest of the evening inside. This sentence emphasizes another advantage of showering at home. I can feel comfortable at home. Here's the last sentence of that example. When I wake up in the morning, I am then ready to go. I thought a lot about this sentence. I wanted to contrast evening and morning showers, but all my ideas for mornings got long. So instead, I didn't directly mention a morning shower or bath. I just said the advantage to not showering in the morning. I am ready to go rather than having to take time to bathe. As always, I want to finish the paragraph with a concluding sentence. Here it is. An evening bath gets rid of all the dirt and sweat accumulated during the day. This sentence concisely summarizes the main idea, but it uses slightly different words than the first sentence of the paragraph. And when proofreading, I remembered accumulated, which is another complex vocabulary word. Now I use the template for my conclusion. Notice that the conclusion is also a separate paragraph. In conclusion, I like taking baths in the night time rather than in the morning. I realized I was using evening a lot, so now wrote night time. My last sentence of the essay is here. I feel this way because an evening bath is both emotionally and physically cleansing. Okay, I mentioned earlier that I like the idea of a contrast between emotionally and physically, right? I also saved cleansing for the last word because it's more complicated. When I wrote this essay, I decided to save the concise idea that most clearly contrasts the two main points for the very end. The TOEFL examiner will be impressed with my organizational skills for setting up the argument as well as my vocabulary. Some people don't put much time into the ending. However, I think a good conclusion really shows off your skills and can boost your score. Now for the last step in writing an essay. I always use the remaining time to look for spelling or grammatical errors. I make sure my examples make sense and are joined with good linking words. I also look for ways to paraphrase words or improve my vocabulary. These are essential steps for a high TOEFL writing score. That's it! That's the steps I took to complete a preference essay. I've included many ways to improve your score. By the way, if you want to get your dream TOEFL score, join my course. Here you can find templates, practice tests, sample answers and much more to really boost your score. To access the course, click on the link in the description. Also, hit the like button and subscribe to this channel so that you don't miss the next video.